Derbyshire Blood Bikes, can I help you? This is the Blood Bank at Derby Hospital. Can we have a biker to take some samples to Sheffield, please? Yes, certainly. A rider will be with you within 30 minutes. It's an idea that came about quite a few years ago now, and it was at one of the motorbike shows where they've got the local ones there, and uh, they says, oh no, we've got no groups in your area. So I come away thinking, well, what can I do? We purchased more bikes and decided we could try and do the daytime runs. And we are one of the few groups in the country now that do 24 seven. And it's nice to be able to put something back into the community and have a purpose to ride the bike. And the riders are saying the same as well. We've actually got a purpose now to ride the bike. And this was just started out as a out of hours and weekend service. That was all it was all started out at. Previously, uh, police service, uh, I retired from the police service and wanted to do something that was useful and enjoyable. Riding a motorcycle has got to be right, well up there with, uh, with everything else, but the sense that you're actually doing something useful and that's helping the NHS uh, treat patients helping the NHS save money because they don't have to spend money on additional courier services because our service is provided free of charge. We move blood and blood products, biological samples, medication, equipment and any records. We do two types of days and they're, they're quite different. So the regular runs on Saturdays and Sundays, you know uh, exactly what it's going to be. So you know you're going to be doing a, a pick up and a drop off at a certain time and it's all around, it's all around Derby. So you're not really going to go very far. Uh, when you're on call, which tends to be during the week, um, you could get nothing or you could suddenly have to go to Newcastle or to London or anywhere really. So that, that's actually quite strange because you, you just don't know. Any minute the phone could ring and you've got to drop what you're doing and, and head off. We all have to be trained to an advanced motorcycle level, which is not quite police level, but very close. And we have to safety, we have to ride within the law. We, we're not allowed to break the law at all, no speed limits torrential rain, hail, visibility on the M1 at midnight one night coming back from Sheffield. Uh, it was horrendous, 30 miles an hour on the M1. Reason for joining, I've used the services of the NHS on quite a few occasions now for both injuries and illnesses and thought it was time to give something back to the community. We put all the gazebo up, we we'll get the bike out, so any, if we spot any children and they're looking and pointing at the bike, we can say to them, come on, have a sit on the bike. We're talking to the parents, telling them what we do. We've seen a few pregnant women and they didn't realise we did breast milk, so we've given quite a few leaflets out the past few weeks. It's a worthwhile service, it's a charity, we don't get paid to do anything, it's all volunteering. We use the voluntary biker service uh, on a regular basis. They come along, they collect samples to take to the reference centre or even injections out to, to give to community midwives. Uh, uh, they come at any time of day or night. They're all fully trained and so that we know that our samples and injections are actually delivered uh, correctly. Uh, it's an absolutely tremendous uh, voluntary service and we really do appreciate all the work that they do for us. I'm wife of the chairman, Bob, and one day he came home and said, I'm starting a charity. Mm, little did I know how much it's set into our life. But yeah, on a personal note, it has been a big sacrifice, but we can now see that it was worth the, s the stress and the strain of setting up this charity in Derby. And to see people come up to me in the street, oh, we saw you at this carnival, or we saw you there, oh, we saw one of your blood bikes out, because everybody knows me and Bob as Mr and Mrs Blood Bikes. And it's, it is really good, and I'm really proud of my husband for what he's done. We operate with 35 volunteers. We've got seven motorcycles and one car, which we use when the weather becomes too poor to operate motorcycles. We do operate 24 hours a day, seven days every week of the year. And we get no funding from the government or NHS. We rely entirely on public donations. 
We have to raise somewhere in the region of £13,000 currently every year. Last year we spent just over £5,500 on fuel.